Hey guys, this is Jen. I have a new creation. Um, this is a journal that I made out of an altered book. It's for a private swap. And um, let me see here. <laughs> it's really, really fat. Uh, this is an old handkerchief that I found at a thrift store. And it just worked pretty well. Covered the front and back with it. And then the the leftover piece I just cut off and made like a little, I don't know, a valance, I guess. And there's some rose trim. Um, I closed it with seam binding and a hitching post. I don't really like some of the charm things that I make. So I put them on a, like a little... I don't know what you call that thing. It's from Tim Holtz, a little hitching thing. And then if they want to put them on or whatever, they can. This is just a puffy heart and, I don't know, a decoration. And I thought this was kind of cool. It's it's a big puffy thing <laughs> with a tree in it and a rose and a little bobble. Anyway, if she wants to put that on, she can. So um, here we go. In, inside is a pretty girl um, tuck spot over here on the side Let's see if we can get that in better and uh, you know just just the regular kind of there's seam binding um, music paper book pages doilies lace um, you know, all of those kinds of good things. This lady um, does not like the grunge, the real, you know, primitive, grungy stuff that I love to do. So this was a real, um, this was really difficult for me because I just, I could feel myself, oh, there's Bunny, hello Bunny. Um, I, that's just plain paper. I left it hanging out like that so it's easier to take out of the envelope, which is handmade. Um, but, you know, it's really hard for me to go with the clean lines and stuff like that. And this is not clean lines by any stretch of the imagination, but there's not nearly the amount of, um, grunging up that I normally do. So this is fabric and lace and creates a couple pockets here. And, um, it's just a paper clip. And, uh, so anyway... It, do, it doesn't look like one of my normal books, I don't think, because I left a lot of the grunge out. So, anyway, I hope she likes it. Um, this is uh, from Tsunami Rose. Um, this is also from Tsunami Rose. And here's... Uh, I'm not going to show you all the envelopes and stuff because it will take too long. Um, this is another envelope that I did some decoupage on with some tissue paper Here's a music note paper clip. Um, another advertisement type thing from Tsunami Rose. And the actual name of the book was Falling Star. And so this is the title page. And I left Falling Star there. And then I put Catch a Falling Star and put it in your pocket. That was a very old song. Never let it fade away. So um, hopefully she's heard of that song and doesn't just think I'm crazy. Um, oh, those are rusted metal stars. And here is another page, same thing, a lovely lady. This is uh, just some fabric that I have, and I bunched it up and sewed it down the side. Um, here's a tag. This is a little paper clip I make with those little tiny um, rosebuds. And the reason I do it that way is because... They won't sit flat, so I put them on paper clips. And here's an envelope um, that goes into a tuck spot. That's and all the envelopes have, you know, tags and writing paper and stuff like that. And here are three doilies that I sewed together and put on that page, back side of that page. And here is uh. I folded this page down, and then there's the picture of the lady, and then it makes a tuck spot on this side as well as a a deeper pocket on this side. And there's a tag down here, too. 
and um you know a lot of the same because that's what she asked for vintage ladies and kind of a ladies type um journal and this is says a pocket full of miracles i took a an old shirt and actually cut the pocket off and then inside is um a handmade envelope that has tissue paper uh, decoupaged on the front of it or on the whole thing actually and that sticks in there with a little pocket and here is a page that I took a napkin and decoupaged the flowers on the napkin over that page and this is a very old lady's handkerchief um, that I just took a piece of it and put it on that page down here I've got a couple of my little um, cards, playing cards, that I've been working on for a swap over at Junk Journal Junkies. And this is just says, leave a little sparkle wherever you go. Then on the back, there's a pocket with some paper in it. And uh, here's a tag. And this is a little bird paper clip. I found those at Tuesday morning. I thought those were cute. This is the same thing with an envelope and a tuck spot. Um, here are actual doilies that are made out of lace and cloth and crocheted or whatever. So it's like a doily page except for its actual fabrics. And here is another uh, playing card little tag, I guess you would call it. And this is... Uh, page it's got um it's actually some stationery that I picked up and the paper matches the envelope and because she doesn't like the the junky look <laughs> I just put that in there for her to use and there's a picture of soon all the pictures um I think are from Tsunami Rose or maybe Pinterest um if I if I have anything else in there. This is a napkin decoupaged. I thought that little girl was so cute. Here's a piece of lace. It makes a tuck spot up here at the top. And uh, there's some fabric down below. This page has a uh, belly band here with fabric and lace. And a couple of little... There's a rose and a uh, sunflower little bling thing over here on the side and this page is an envelope you open it up and there's um you know a tuck spot here it's got paper inside of it and over here um this actually came out of the book and it said woodman spare that tree touch not a single bough in youth it sheltered me and i'll protect it now and i thought that was kind of cool so i left that in there and this is just a, some ladies down here. I put a hinge on it, and you can open it up. And there's a little secret envelope thing. And down here are a couple tags stuck in that little tiny pocket. And um, this says, The best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or heard or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. And here's a little tiny envelope that I made. I've been really into envelopes lately. And here's a just a plain tag. And there's a very lovely lady from Tsunami Rose. And underneath I've got some doilies and some lace. And there's a couple tags um, that are stuck up there with a with a paper clip. And um, let's see. This says, Precious Jewel, you glow, you shine, reflecting all the good things in this world. That was by Maya Angelou, and um, this is the little girl on the next page. This is some of that leftover handkerchief, and I made a, a pocket out of uh, the handkerchief and stuck some, some papers and stuff in there. And uh, there's a dictionary page underneath that's punched out. Um, I got that from somebody... Um, that just sent me some happy mail. And here is another one. This says, My heart is forever at your service. That's always a, that's also a little tuck spot. Here's a tuck spot over here with a couple little envelopes that I made. Here is um, 
a celebrated home washer uh, advertisement. There's a mom down there with a couple little kids, and this makes a, a tuck spot uh, with some old fabric. And here is a page about some sewing stuff. Um, this is actually pattern a pattern paper and makes a tag with that pocket. Over here I've got a doily and I sewed the word sew <laughs> on the doily. And then this flips up and then it has so blessed, so genuine, so lucky. And inside here it's got um, various tags and this is a little tiny it's not actually an envelope it's just folded and you can write on the inside and let's see what else we have okay there's the back of the doily this has some tags in it it says there's only the miracle of this moment savor it it is a gift and I am um, here is Another lovely lady with a tuck spot with some clean paper. I'm not used to all this clean stuff. It's kind of crazy for me. Um, there's a heart there made out of fabric, and the little heart says, Never lose the magic. And there are some children playing, gathering flowers. And behind there is a tuck spot. And then on the last page, we have... Um, two tuck spots that like cover the back two pages uh, with lace and it's all full of tags and papers and a note and um, that's the end of the book and um, it's pretty much all I can tell you about it I hope she likes it I have one more um, personal swap to do and then I am done with personal swaps for a while because I am so far behind on trying to get some stuff in my Etsy shop and uh, take care of some other orders so anyway thank you so much for watching I hope you have a great day bye bye